roots from their insecurity in their relationship with Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad and they feel that they have to struggle and fight and be angry. But they come to Ahlul Muhabbat, they're taught exactly the opposite, be soft, kind and compassionate. It's the love of Allah that you're seeking and show people and extend people a love and an understanding. Salatul Janazah Taqaibeen is an immense sunnah that when comes Salatul Maghrib, after we pray our Maghrib fart, we enter Salatul Janazah Taqaibeen for takbirat Salatul Janazah for all those Ya Rabbi who died on this earth right now and that nobody prayed for them in Islamic Janazah. Whether they're Muslim, non-Muslim, whether they're lost at sea and the earth in the desert in the forest, wherever they are Ya Rabbi, this Salatul Janazah for their souls and that the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad is upon them and reaching to them wherever they are. That Naqshbandiya keeps and adheres to this immense sunnah because they are the caretakers of humanity. They know that all these souls, believers and non-believers, Rabbal Mu'mineen wal Kafireen, all these souls go back to Muhammadun Rasulullah Anyone from tariqah speaking ridiculous things like that, they don't even understand the purpose of tariqah. Tariqah are cleaning company, they clean souls. They're not here to take people's money and have a position, authority and, and wear fancy clothes. They're the cleaning service of Sayyidina Muhammad Anyone who has built and we have given talks on computers, that between your hands on the keyboard and the dialogue that enters into the computer called computer language between one and zero. Nobody can communicate but all of your typing, all of the intercession of these softwares, all of the transactions and debuggings and firewalls were all a symbol that Allah gave to us to make. Make a computer so you find yourself. That you're not just communicating in machine language, you're using all of these softwares like intercessions. They debug problems because they don't let you just press a key and send a virus, your computer would shut in a day and Allah said, do you think with all the shaitans on you that every prayer you make and every action you do and how many souls day going into the heavens, that we're letting them with viruses enter into these heavens? And that when we're telling you the Imam of all creation, the representative of all creation is Sayyidina Muhammad you as allowing all these negativities to dress and to destroy the one that Allah loves the most. Or Allah on the miraj said, oh look at this beautiful creation Prophet said, okay I take them all like beautiful pearls. Then Allah showed really what they look like because of their, <laughs> their bad character and bad actions and Prophet became worried. Is what happened to these beautiful pearls? That was the talk from last night, beautiful pearls. You showed to Prophet as beautiful pearls. They said, I take them. This whole of creation, I take them. And then Allah Jalla you took it. Now let me show you really what they look like because <laughs> when they come to earth, all of their dirtiness. And Prophet became concerned and Allah said, Don't worry, I created for you awliya that their whole existence will be to clean these and to return them to you as a trust pure and purified. And only Allah are living within every community, every city, every town, every, every state. There are degrees, 124,000 awliya on this earth. Don't ever call somebody Sultan and awliya when you don't even know your own name. People are putting titles to this one is Sultan and awliya, so you don't know your own name. You want to give the names of, of these saints? All you have to know, they're busy working. In every city there's a wali known or unknown, every town, every country, every continent it has degrees. From all the mass within the cities there are head… stronger ones that represent an entire country, stronger yet that re in, represent an entire continent. And every degree of cleaning 
What he can clean, he cleans. That his soul is responsible for the entire environment that Allah gave, whether it's one city or entire continent. That soul will clean, then the next one cleans where he couldn't clean, the next one clean where they couldn't clean until the ghawth. When we talk about ghawth it's not you give food on the 11th and think you, you gave lima beans and you achieve something. Understanding the reality of the ghawth of this time must be at every time is cleaning what no other wali could clean and perfected and perfected everything upon this earth to leave in a purified signal up to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And one for every planet on this creation, there's a whole different system for this entire created universe. Nothing is leaving not being purified. Whether they die in the process of purifying, they will purify because their love and muhabbat would never send a harm into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So they have to clean, they have to do their practices, they have all of these responsibilities. So this is not a system where you curse one and this one, they're responsible for cleaning these people, these souls that are all precious to Allah and all precious to Sayyidina Muhammad we pray Allah give us more and more understanding and keep the company of good people. For if you should keep the company of bad people, their bad understanding and their bad manners will begin to dress you, begin to occupy your heart and your belief. And before you know it in these days of difficulty your umbrella becomes filled with holes and all sorts of azab of Allah begin to hit the servant. But our umbrella is like a steel umbrella of muhabbat and love and good character. That make a shield from Allah that push away. They live their life spreading love, trying to help the most they could. You think that one who dies in that state Allah want to punish them? Said, you spread love and now you met me I'm going to start to rip your fingers off? Or you spread love and I deal with you in love. And where you came wrong or where you were incorrect inshaAllah we clean it. So it means, how? Judge not for you shall be judged. Go to Allah with a good heart, with loving heart, with compassionate heart. We tried our best Ya Rabbi, we spread our da'wah to the best of our ability. We tried to give the best example of the love and the muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe.